So it's the morning after the night before and it was our press night last night in St. Albans. Oh my gosh, we had the best time. Literally, we smashed it. I'm so proud of us all and the reaction was just incredible. So, so good. I've never heard people scream so loud. Literally, oh my gosh. I was like, wow, this is so amazing. I, I, I don't think I actually got to sleep like very early I was still buzzing I was in my bed and I was like oh my gosh it's been the best night ever best night ever um but yeah it was just incredible and I had the best best night ever and we're in Bury or Bury I don't know one or the other um <clears throat> tonight so better go get myself ready for another show I also had some more amazing presents I had loads of drawings again they're so, so pretty. But you know what I had this morning? I came downstairs and my agent's two little girls came to watch last night. And on the kitchen tops were two little notes. Mm. Literally, my day has been made. Like, they are the cutest things. And seeing their little faces last night light up, watching it all was just the most amazing amazing feeling ever and just to see everyone's faces have the most amazing time and it's just it's so amazing to feel that we do that like we make you all so happy and like that's priceless like you can't buy that and that's just so like it's overwhelming I think that was the type of feeling I had this morning I woke up and I was like oh my gosh like this is my life this is actually happening it's crazy. It's so, so crazy. Um, and we're literally only on our 12th show. And we have like another 20 something, I think. I'm rubbish at maths. People who know me, I'm rubbish at maths. So, so bad. Um, but yeah, we still have so many shows to go. And just that feeling every night is just amazing. It's so good so so good guys excuse the hair i'm literally watching these videos back and they are so my hair looks horrendous um <clears throat> that's why i'm about to go and get a shower to wash it <laughs> and sort my life out but it's okay it's good bury or bury here we come <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> that's what you have to do when you're packing the car is it is it Push. What, with the sound effects? Yeah, the sound effects help a lot. Push! <laughs> push! 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 <laughs> push! Sorry, you have to push! Push! Uh, okay, I love push. that. I love that. Can I get it in there? You want me to try to push? <laughs> push! Did you see that? Look at that! This is packing. Really this pretty. is packing oh, skills. No. I couldn't do that. Yeah. No, I, what I, you want? I don't want... There's nothing on? No, I'll have it later. Okay, uh, and a cappuccino, please? Yeah, anything else? Uh, that's it, thank you. Next one, another Next place, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> I'm so hot. Do you want to shout any louder, man? <laughs> yeah, but they don't hear you. <laughs> they do, they just have to turn down their earpiece. I'm so hot, too, sweet. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. That. I told you. All their tickets were out of day. They wouldn't check. <laughs> it's not a thing. What? It's not a thing. They don't check. Do you? Look at you. Despacito. I know my Spanish is on point. Despacito. I don't know the words at all, but I do, I know I'm in Spanish. Go on then. Get a tapi lefty, it's hectomino. It's a You don't know? Okay, because you're not, it's, you're Italian and you're English, you don't speak Spanish, I speak Spanish, so I know that's right. Okay. I don't think you do. It doesn't sound right. Like it does sound right. It does not sound right. <laughs> Despacito, que da pa' mirarle la capa en tocito Ya capa' le ale ale bien toquito Despacito, que da pa' mirarle la capa en tocito No, 
I'm sitting all right. <laughs> So it's the morning after, actually it's the afternoon after, I think it's about one o'clock, quarter past one to be exact. Um, morning, afternoon, after Bury St Edmunds. Guys, you have no idea how many times me and Di practiced that backstage before the show and we still got it wrong. We still got it wrong. I, in my last video, I already said that I didn't know if it was Berry or Burry. So we had to clarify that bit. And then, the night before we'd been in St. Alban, Albans, oh God. <laughs> the night before we'd been, we'd been in St. Albans. So we were like, okay, right, we've got to get, we've got to get rid of the St. Obviously, then we had St., but it was Edmunds, not Albans. And every time me or Di said it wrong, we'd correct each other and go, no, it's Edmunds. No, okay, okay, okay. We came to do it and it was like, good evening, Berry St. Albans. Oh, Jesus Christ. It was, it was awful. It was awful. We were like, no. We looked at each other and we were like, oh, great. So we're starting really well, really well. By the end of the night, we did it really slowly and we went, thank you, Berry St. Albans. Edmunds! Oh god, who knew that a place could have such a complicated name to say? I mean, it was a mouthful, but um, we got there in the end. You guys are awesome, and the theatre was so lovely, and everyone was up so high. For some people I couldn't see, like the lights literally were blinding. Were blinding. So I couldn't see everyone, but it was really good fun. But uh, apologies for the name, I'm really sorry. We got there in the end. <laughs> Gosh. I was literally the first words that came out of my mouth as well. That was my opening line. Berry St. Albans. Are you ready for a great... Damn it. Damn it. Oh, well. I redeemed myself, I hope. <laughs> we'll never be invited back. We'll never be invited back. Um, but oh, well. We got there in the end. We got there in the end. Tonight, we are in Milton Keynes. So I'm super excited to go there. Another sellout show. So excited. These sellout shows are absolutely amazing. We've got so many of them. And we're just so grateful that they're selling out. And that everyone's loving the show. And everyone wants to come and see us girls shake our thing on the, um, on the floor. So we're super excited. So Milton Keynes is up next. Then we have a few days off, which would be lovely. Um, so yeah, Milton Keynes tonight. I'm super excited. Hello everyone, so it is Friday and we have a show in Cheltenham today, so we are heading there very, very soon. We've had two days off, not going to lie to you, I've slept for two days. Okay, not like two days straight, but I've slept so much, so much. Like I've had 12 hour night sleeps with like two or three hour nap in the day, what the hell? I'm like, oh my god, like I've not got stuff done that I wanted to get done because I've been sleeping so much. And then I speak to my mum and she's like, it's okay, Chloe, like obviously your body needs it. I'm like, yes, but my work need doesn't need it, do they, you know? God, Jesus. Anyway, it's fair to say I'm feeling very refreshed today and I'm ready for another show in Cheltenham. So I'm super excited and actually we have another two days off tomorrow. Well, from tomorrow, we have the weekend off. Yay. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be sleeping all weekend. Well, I hope not. I'm going home for the weekend to see my family and my baby, my little puppy. I'm so excited. And um, yeah, I FaceTime her every day. I mean, not physically my dog every day, but my mum and then my mum puts her on FaceTime. Um, and she just looks so adorable. She's just been groomed and she looks so cute. So cute. So I'm super excited to cuddle her and just be with her again reunited with my baby um so yeah i'm super excited uh cheltenham we are coming for you i missed you i missed, I missed you so much yes i have oh baby kisses oh baby so i want to show you some of the presents i got from 
Melting Keynes. <laughs> I've really got to start remembering where we've been and what we've done. Anyway, I got a Tamagotchi. Oh my god, well, I don't think it's an actual, it's not a Tamagotchi, but it's the same thing, a virtual pet. Like, I had one of these when I was like, gosh, I think I was like nine or ten. They're super cool. I mean, I don't even know if I'd be able to, like, play it anymore. Like, I mean, I've got to um, read the instructions. But that's so cool. Time I got to change. Now, I got chew it. Ah! Now, what you're not quite going to realise is, this was my nickname at school. No joke. At high school, I always got called Chew It. It was my nickname at school. And I don't know if you probably realise, because it's actually like my name, my initial, Chloe, and then Hewitt. Except my name, my surname's got two Ts. But anyway, that's besides the point. I was still nicknamed Chew It at high school. So when I saw these yesterday, I was like, OMG. And actually, they are my favourite sweet. Like, they are my favourite sweet. But I can't even remember the last time I had a packet. Or even just one for that matter. So I was super, super excited when um, when I got these yesterday. And I have to admit, I did have do have like an actual like six pack. But I already had a packet. Well, I didn't have any in a mall. I've just opened them to have a few. Because they're my favourite. And I got this. So, it's a Disney book. And it's based on, it's called, As Old As Time, A Twisted Tale. And it says at the bottom, what if Belle's mother cursed the beast? Um, so what I'm guessing is obviously it's, it's based on Beauty and the Beast, which a lot of people uh, resemble me as Belle. We all have a Disney character. Like, obviously, Diane is Ariel, because it's very, very obvious with the red hair. And I've been associated as Belle. So I'm guessing that's why I've got the Beauty and the Beast twisted tail. But I'm actually really excited to read this. It sounds really dark. And for people who already know me, they will know that I love that type of stuff. Like, I really do. Like, I've kind of been brought up brought up around it like my mum would always watch like um like dramas on television and stuff like that so I love like things that have a twist to them and she'd always read books like this as well and then I'd always read them I don't know if I was a bit young for them to be honest but I loved them and I'm I was a proper bookworm when I was growing up like my bedroom would literally be a library and if it was ever birthdays or Christmases or even if I just went out on a day out with my nan, for instance, I'd always come home with a book. Like, hands down, mum could always put money that I would return with a book. And of course, like, when I was young, it would always be, like, fairy books and all that type of stuff. But I would literally, I would smash through it. I could read, like, I would usually be able to read this type of a book, this thick, in a week. Like, I would smash it, actually even probably less than that. I would like be solid like this, like constantly. How times change because I actually haven't read a book in a very, very, very long time. So maybe this is the one. Maybe this is the one for me. As old as time. And um, I know that Diane and Amy got one as well. And we all got separate ones. Um, so they are out there. There's loads of them. And they had, and at the back it says here actually. What does it say? Once Upon a Dream, which is obviously about sleep and beauty. I love anything Disney. A Whole New World, which is clearly Aladdin. Um, reflection. Oh, Mulan. Oh, my gosh. Mulan is literally my favourite Disney film. Mulan is my favourite. I love I love the story behind it. I love, And I just love her. I just think she's great. She's so, um, she's so hardcore. Like, no one can stand in her way from doing what she wants to do and her dreams that she has. Oh, that was... Okay, and then there's Mistress of All Evil, which is based on Maleficent. Which I should, I've never watched Maleficent. I should watch that. The one with um, Angelina Jolie. 
I'd love to watch that one. I need to sit and watch that one. Fairest of All, which obviously is Snow White. And then this one is Poor Unfortunate Soul. Now this one, that one I know Di got because it's about um, The Little Mermaid. So yeah, so there is a whole collection out there. So thank you for whoever bought me this one. I am super excited to read it. And um, yeah, this is so fun. I love like looking at everything. It's so cute. And I'm really in promise I'm not gonna like stuff my face full of chewits either because that could be a very, very bad idea. Um we have two days off, which my first day off, which is today, is consisting of multiple loads of washing. Um and just all things doing things around the house. Woohoo! So that's what my first day off is consisting of. And then tomorrow I may go and do a bit of shopping. Oh dear. But oh well. My bank balance is going to hate me and my card is going to be very tired. But you know what? You've got to do this once in a while. I haven't done it in ages. So um, that's my plans for my two days. <laughs>